Hello everyone and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you are new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. It's completely free. You just have to click that red button down below, turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. So now that it's officially November, I am so excited to announce that I'm doing a Thanksgiving series here on my channel. Today's the first part of that series and I'm going to be sharing a whole bunch of Thanksgiving side dishes that you can prepare right in your slow cooker. That's right, if you have ever prepared a Thanksgiving meal before, you know that the most challenging part about all of it is coordinating to make sure that everything is ready and hot at the exact same time. A slow cooker is a great way to prepare things in advance and have them cooking so that you can enjoy time with your guests and also free up space in your oven. And speaking of freeing up space in your oven, that is another challenge. How the heck are we supposed to prepare eight to 10 side dishes along with the turkey with only one single oven? So make sure that you are subscribed because next week, my husband is taking over my channel and showing you exactly how he prepares our Thanksgiving turkey out on our gas grill. So you are not gonna wanna miss that video. But that's for next week. Let's stay focused on what we're doing today. I am going to be preparing mashed potatoes, stuffing and green bean casserole all in my slow cooker today. I can't wait to see how these have come out. I haven't done this before, which is exactly why I'm doing it in advance to make sure that they come out amazing. So by the time Thanksgiving rolls around, I am going to be stress-free, have everything cooking in my slow cooker so I can really enjoy the holiday. Okay, you guys, first on the docket are these delicious creamy mashed potatoes, a Thanksgiving must have. So to begin, I'm just gonna start by spraying my slow cooker with some nonstick spray, and then I'm going to wash all my potatoes. I'm using four pounds of red skin potatoes. I think that these taste great mashed, even when you don't peel them. But if you wanna use regular russet potatoes, feel free to quickly peel them before you dice them up. The recipe doesn't call for any liquid, but honestly, the next time I make this, I'll probably throw in a little bit of broth for added moisture. Then I cooked these on high and I ended up doing it for three and a half hours. Three hours just wasn't quite enough in my slow cooker. Now that the potatoes are done cooking, I'm adding in a cup of sour cream, or you could use Greek yogurt if you prefer, half a cup of milk, and some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now what makes this recipe even easier is that you're gonna use your hand mixer to mash them up. You just need to be careful not to overbeat them. Overworking the potatoes is what is going to give them a gluey consistency. These are real potatoes, so it's normal for them to still have a few lumps in them. They're not gonna be as smooth as instant potatoes. You definitely want to avoid using a food processor. It might seem easy, but food processors are too harsh on potatoes. There you have it, four pounds of the easiest mashed potatoes that you can ever imagine. Now we are moving on to my favorite recipe of them all. This is a slow cooker sausage apple stuffing. It is amazing. So to get this stuffing started, I am going to begin by dicing up a medium onion and two stalks of celery. Then 
over medium heat, I am going to add some olive oil and saute the onions and celery until they start to soften. Now here I have a pound of ground sausage. I am going to add that to the vegetables and break it up and let it brown. While my sausage is cooking, I'm going to grab an apple, peel it, and dice that up into small chunks. going to grab some fresh parsley, rosemary, and sage and chop up about two to three tablespoons of each of them. sausage is completely cooked through, I'm going to stir in all the fresh herbs. And here I am stirring in my diced apples as well as a big handful of dried cranberries. Next, all I need to do is spray down my slow cooker with nonstick spray and add in six cups of these dried bread cubes made for stuffing. I'm gonna add in the entire sausage mixture and then mix it all together. Now I just need to pour over four tablespoons of melted butter, as well as two cups of turkey or chicken stock. This is going to cook on low for about four hours and feel free to sprinkle a little bit more parsley on top when it's all done. Seriously, this is the most flavorful stuffing I have ever had. I can't wait to make this on Thanksgiving for my whole family. Last but certainly not least is this slow cooker green bean casserole. This is the easiest way to make this classic side dish while freeing up oven space. You can start with three cans of drained green beans or you can use about six cups of fresh or frozen green beans. I didn't even cook these before, I just threw them right in my crock pot frozen. Now let's talk ingredients. You are gonna need two cans of condensed cream soup you can pick any two you like, mushroom, chicken, or celery. I'm using a combination of celery and mushroom today. You are gonna wanna add that to a bowl along with a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and Worcestershire sauce, and then also add in half a cup of milk and fresh ground pepper.
Once you've mixed that all up, all you need to do is pour it over the green beans and stir everything together so that the green beans are evenly coated. You can cook this on high for three to four hours or on low for four to five hours until everything is heated through. When your casserole is heated through, you wanna mix in a cup of French fried onions. Then you can use an additional cup of these French fried onions to top your casserole. If you prefer these nice and browned and crispy, you can brown them on a skillet on your stove top. But what I did is I sprinkled them on top, removed the crock pot insert and put it in a 350 degree oven and let it bake for 10 minutes. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing these three Thanksgiving slow cooker side dishes and that you'll give one or maybe all three of them a try this Thanksgiving morning. I promise that it is gonna reduce the amount of stress you have cooking Thanksgiving dinner so that you can really enjoy the holiday and time with your family. So from my family to yours, I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and don't forget to stay tuned for next week when my husband is going to show you exactly how he prepares our Thanksgiving turkey out on the gas grill. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you on Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye.